Yeah, so it's Sunday, it's raining a lot, and I uh, just dropped text off. And I'm gonna grab a coffee, and then I wanna talk about how design is being done in organizations. <laughs> certain it's got to do with the expense of how you put these um, teams together and I know that everybody's cost cutting um, and I'll, I'll be honest I don't know that given the effort there's enough of a reward for the organizations you know like the, these big, big corporates you know they, they're investing a lot of money and they're going to a lot of manpower behind things and there's already like a lot of people there that actually have no business on the product teams but overall I think there's probably too many people to financially invest in these projects the way that they are being invested in but in saying that what is becoming really flawed is that each department in the bank I think they call it a federated model I'm not entirely sure I don't speak bank but yeah, it's, it's where each kind of division within the bank actually has their own design team solving their own problems. But that could mean many things, like there could be multiple apps, or there could be multiple different departments trying to land something in one app. And I'm not entirely sure that that's the right solution, because then you basically you need a team that is then platform, right? That's basically saying we do the website, we do the apps, and you want a feature you're gonna land it there. But then what gets broken is the experience. So now you've got different people doing different experiences and nobody's keeping it all together. Now to say that this model is entirely wrong is probably I'm probably being a little kind of too loose with, with how I said it, because the truth is one department in a bank is very different to the other. So let me give you an example. A corporate and investment banking client is completely different to the average retail or business banking client. And so is your private wealth client. They're very different clients. And then the banks also have all of their value added services and all of that. And that experience could be very different. Um, so there are all these different things and these different divisions in the bank know their clients best. But that doesn't mean that sticking a design team there under their kind of governance means that you're going to deliver a better product. What can happen is that you lose your sense of brand because each one of these divisions in the bank try and always create their own brand, which I think is a bit of a failure. You know, I think people, even if they are coming to that bank, um, as a corporate and investment client, they're still going on the legacy of that initial brand that holds everything together. So, um, yeah, I don't necessarily agree that coming up with a different brand for every division in the bank is the right move. I think that people want consistency. I think it adds something to security uh, for customers. I think that they like the idea that you know, their money is safe under this one brand. They don't get confused. There's not as many opportunities for people to kind of confuse the customer. 
you know, fishing and things like that's a real problem, you know. And so, yeah, they've, they've definitely got to make people feel secure in how they bank. And, you know, that means give the brand as much strength as possible. Don't dilute the brand, which I think too many places are doing. You know, they, they're coming up with too many different marketing messages and too many looks and feels and too many different products. And the thing is, like, people don't want that. People also, like, they want value for their money. They don't want to be paying more marketing of products and things like that because that, that is where money goes. When you've got another product that needs another marketing campaign and, hey, that's more spent. I want to know, I'm going to that particular bank and that bank has a selection of products under their banner. And I hope that is, is clear enough. But yeah, I would set up teams that, yes, they can work within different um, businesses of the bank, but they shouldn't be specifically working for those things and for those de departments. So what I really mean here is that what I believe that I set up at, at the bank was the right solution even though not always executed correctly by the various stakeholders within uh, the business. My belief is that you have a centralized design team that get deployed into these different departments and they carry a single vision. There's a visual language that you can establish. There are patterns that you can establish. And if you follow those, regardless of how many products or divisions in the bank kind of um, want to execute things in different ways, if they follow the patterns, there's something that people will be familiar with. And I think that way, you've got consistency and I think consistency is part of adding that layer of security. So, by I think creating a visual language by setting some very clear um, voice and tone guides um, by setting up some standardized coding practices and everything and which all is housed into a design system which is designed centrally by probably your best designers who have the ability to think across multiple kind of problems and, and solve for more than just one thing, you know, like we've got solutions that fit across different clusters within a, an organization. Those are the guys you want centrally. Then you want to educate the rest of your designers on that system and let them adapt that. That means that they can quite rapidly design. It's just a case of going, well, what is the requirement for that specific um, division within the bank? You know or that specific product and who is our customer and what would be the best experience for them and then you build an experience based on that but blending from the standards that you set within the, the business it's the same as you know brand guides are, are shared and even if every division in the bank doesn't necessarily agree they do all contribute and they do all eventually have to adopt uh, a branding solution and it's the same thing for the experience for customers and um, that is probably the best solution I can think of. So this diluting of brands that, and, and this kind of the diluting of kind of design teams, I don't think is the best solution right now. I think that these organizations are failing and I think it's going to take a bit of time for them to see it and then there's going to be a bit of time to kind of catch up. And as one of my old bosses said to me recently, you know, you're going to end up after all of this four years later and then you're really only where you were kind of now. And that's a pretty big problem. So best solution I can think of is stay the course, slim down the teams a little bit more, have a lot of faith in the designers that have been in the organization, bring the right people in on a consultative basis 
to kind of give direction on things and, and work through problems and stuff like that. You don't have to have all these people in the room all the time. You should have the makers and, and I think that you should have these people you can come in and consult, uh, which would give a lot more guidance um, to these, these specific projects. Um, I mean, there's even suggestion that nowadays probably the, the in-house agencies may be on its way out. And I viciously disagree. I, I don't agree with that at all. I think that that's probably a stretch, but maybe that's a conversation for another day. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and stay cool.